you know, I, I, I don't think it's really hitting me that we're 10 weeks into the NFL season. I don't think it's hitting me that Josh Dobbs has proven himself as a starting quarterback either. I don't think I don't think we're at that point where it's like, you know, things are like that now. But in the end, you know, things happen. You know, week nine, another great week for NFL football. What can I say? Uh, unfortunately, Cam Akers and Daniel Jones, both of them done. Season's over. ACL injuries have yet again claimed two more victims. And, you know, it, it's crazy how many ACL injuries, major ACL injuries there have been this year. And, yeah, I mean, with new technology and stuff, I mean, Aaron Rodgers is out here just casually walking, you know, again. So, you know, an, an ACL tear could be, um, you know, the new polio backseat type thing with NFL guys. You know, because I mean if guys will be if guys are getting surgery that quickly and back on their feet that quickly from an ACL tear, then you know, Cam Akers, you know, you know, he was he, he tore his ACL before and, and you know his season was done, you know, and he came back six months later. So we know so we know from experience already that an ACL tear he, you know, it's not the greatest thing in the world to have, but you can't come back a lot sooner than originally thought. Let me get Josh Dobbs. What can I say? Minnesota is saved for another week. Um, I don't think Minnesota, you know, I know I think I said preseason that Minnesota was going to do something, do some kind of damage, but uh, that, that has not been the case. They're in a tight NFC race right now. And speaking of a tight NFC race, the Eagles are one step closer to being the number one seed. Unfortunately for the Cowboys, there, there's just – both teams did not want to win this game. Um, ref ball messed things up as well. But both teams did not want to win this game. <laughs> like – the Eagles had the opportunity to basically just kneel the clock out and, you know, things happened to where they they just, oh, we don't know how to play football. Um, the Cowboys at the time act like they don't know how to play football. <clears throat> like, it, it did make any sense. Somebody had to lose this game, and the Cowboys, my Cowboys are on the other end of it. I mean, I, I can't, I, I can't say much about, you know, more because these two teams will meet again in Dallas, you know, later on. But honestly, you know, the Eagles have just not looked the greatest, and the Cowboys, you know, kind of falter in a big-time game. And, I mean, both these teams right now, I'm thinking neither of these two teams are really going to, you know, do too much damage. But somebody's going to have to come out the NFC. Somebody's going to have to do it because it, it – do you think the 49ers, the way they've been playing, are they going to come out the NFC? I have no idea. Of the Jets, you know, another primetime game, they continue to be the Jets. Terrible. And then Baltimore, they blew out Seattle like it was nothing. Like, they put up no fight. Like, Baltimore ran through them for nearly 300 yards on them. And it was crazy. You know, crazy. You know, when you have... You have Lamar Jackson cooking, and then Joe Burrow cooking the Bills defense as well. You know, and then C.J. Stroud being impressive. I mean, all these things are great. All these things are great. But what about the game in Germany? What about the game in Germany? Yeah, I, 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 I'm not going to lie to you. I thought the game was completely over after the first quarter. It was 21 to nothing after the first quarter. I fell asleep, like, right after that. I, I, was, I was awake, wide awake for this game. I fell asleep, you know, as soon as the Dolphins fumbled, as soon, you know, as, you know, Mahomes was cooking, I fell asleep. Next thing I know, come back, wake up, it's, you know, almost time for the noon games, the 1 o'clock games on the East Coast, and I'm seeing Miami could only score 14 points. They didn't come back at all. And yet again, the Miami Dolphins lose a big-time game. So they're kind of in the same boat as the Cowboys, really, at this point. You know, losing games that they, you know, can win, but they just don't seem to perform very well for whatever reason. So I have no idea where the Dolphins stand right now. Feels like they're a Cowboys-type team, too. Um, 
Week 10, not going to lie to you. This is garbage. This is some garbage games. You have you have Bears-Panthers tomorrow. Bears-Panthers. Bears-Panthers tomorrow. Do you have any idea what kind of game that is? Garbage. What kind, what what are we putting out there? The game in Germany. The game the game that's going to be in Germany, which I'm going to go straight to sleep for. I am I'm I'm not even gonna watch this. Colts Patriots. I'm not even joking with you. What's the main game? You know, the main doubleheader game. Either the commanders of the Seahawks, Seahawks who have been, you know, inconsistent throughout the year, and, and Giants Cowboys. The main three twenty five games. You're joking with me right now, right? The Giants. Jets Raiders did get flexed. Broncos. Trash. Bills should easily take care of business there. So, you know, it, the, the Week 10 Week Ten doesn't have a lot of impressive games, you know. Um, I'd say maybe the Browns, you know, and Baltimore, you know, that could be a game, you know, where things can actually, you know, become, you know, something of a contest. But then again, with the way Baltimore has been blowing out some teams lately, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It, but this is a really good Browns defense, though. Um, Sean Watson is back in the lineup, you know, and, and, I mean, things are clicking for the Browns in a tight in AFC North. AFC North has basically all the playoff teams right now, four of them. If the playoffs were to start today, we'd have four AFC North teams. Um, the 49ers had a bye last week, and they didn't fix their they need to fix their season really because this is a do or die type situation against Jacksonville. Uh, they pulled off a nice winning streak. Trevor Lawrence is playing well, you know. ETN's playing well. The defense is playing pretty good, led by Josh Allen, you know, for the most part. Everything is clicking for Jacksonville for the most part. Now, again, like a lot of NFL teams this year, inconsistencies on offense has led to great defense. So, you know, 49ers can't capitalize on that. Uh, Lions Chargers, if you don't want to watch either of those other games, you know, Lions Chargers should be a good bet. Um, also early um, there's there's either like Bagels Texans, you know, Bagels playing good football. Stroud and company are trying to keep up their momentum. I'd say Minnesota, New Orleans, you know, the whole Josh Dobbs is he a guy, you know, that can start at an NFL team, you know, in 2024, the 2024 season. That the answer is looking more and more like yes, yes he can, like he can. He's beat the Cowboys. He he, he just. A masterful game for Minnesota on Sunday. So he's going to be start somewhere in 2024, I think. Um, and again, the Chargers are, you know, going back to the Lions, Chargers, you know, Lions, pretty good team led by Jared Goff and company. The Chargers still trying to find a balance with Austin Eckler back in the lineup and the defense, you know, trying to really gel. Derwin James, you know, and, and company, everybody's trying to gel and get themselves into a groove for the Chargers. So I think that's going to be important. And with all that being said, really, I, I wonder what you guys are looking forward to in Week 10. Because honestly, you know, I am just going to watch the games at noon and, and the Cowboys game and Lions Chargers. And then that's it. I, I'm going straight to bed after that because, like, this is ridiculous. We we should have some of these games be flexed by now. And there's only been one flex so far this season. That was Bucks Lions like four or five weeks ago. That's it. I, I need more than that, NFL. Why why are you doing this to me? Y'all y'all did the Thursday night football thing where you know you can flex like one game or two games like twenty eight days out. Ain't done that. Monday night football, you get to start flexing games in like two or three weeks. Who knows if they're going to do that? So, hey, football ain't done no flexes, not a single one. They could they could have done two by now, but they haven't done it. They get to do as many as they want, you know, starting next weekend. But, uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm not happy. 
you know, I'm not happy about this. Like, this is this is two packs of ass right here. Like, come on, man. These prime time games are two packs of ass. How we get how we get a great, you know, slate from 8 30 a.m. all the way to 10 30 at night. Last week and this week, no, that that's not the case, man. I'm tired. I'm tired, man. I, I want better primetime games. Like, give us the games that are good. You know, who cares about, oh, well, team maximums and all that and contracts, blah, blah, blah. You're going to rework the contracts anyway in, like, maybe three or four years, honestly, at this point with the NFL. I I'm hoping they hurry up and add that 18th game. Please, please add that 18th game. I want it. I've wanted it for so long. Yeah, end of my tirade. Y'all, we're going to enjoy Week 10, aren't we? We are going to enjoy Week 10. We are going to enjoy it to the best of our abilities. And that's all I got to say. Yeah.